Hi, Linda. Hi, teacher. Only, only you are online right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm punctual. <laughs> you are punctual. Yes, Patty. Patty always. I'm <laughs> Mine too, but I don't know what happened to her. Maybe she's going to get online in a minute. And yes. I will be. And I will begin with you because it is eight o'clock already. Yes. Yeah. So I will begin with you. Yeah. Because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, Hi. Francisco is getting online too. The people Hi, asleep. Francisco. Sorry. The people asleep. Yeah. Yeah. And this is this is the last week. I mean, this week. This week we finish. Yes. We finished. Thank God. Thank God. We finished. This. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's see what happens, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe you. Uh, maybe. Uh, podría ser nuestra profesora en el otro nivel. Hi. Ah, could you could you be our teacher next module? Yes, cool. Could you be a your teacher next module? Uh, I, I, I don't know, you know, because I have that question, but tomorrow we will have a, 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 a meeting. Let's see what they say. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please. <laughs> okay, I will we'll be happy. We'll be happy. Okay, we're going to begin today with our class. All right, Francisco, Ivit, and, and Linda, you are uh, punctual. So we're gonna begin. Can you uh, let me see? Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, well, so this this week we begin a, a new unit. Okay. We're gonna begin unit number four, and the, then the topic of unit number four is company procedures and policies. This the, this unit is very interesting because we will make a we will make like a, a little feedback from from topics that we have studied before all right we're going to have a little a little feedback okay so this is class number 16 okay uh, let me see uh, the objective for today is 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 this okay we will talk about policies in the workplace using should do you remember should yes Yes, yeah, so student, this student. this class, we're gonna have a little feedback. We're gonna have a little feedback with should, okay? Very good. Now, uh, we're gonna begin today and I have a question for you. Do you like tongue twisters? Yeah. <laughs> yes, do, do you know, do you know, do you know what a tongue twister is? Is um, in Spanish and... Uh, R con R, guitarra, R con R, carril, rápido, corre, no carro. Exactly, very carril. good. They are the masters, <laughs> all right? Like, for example, when we used to say tres, tri, tres, oh my God. <laughs> tres, 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 I, I am not, I am not good. I am not good with tongue twisters in the Spanish, but in English, yes. Imagine. <laughs> it is very ironical, right? Yeah, because yes. I should be, I should be good with, yeah, but tres, 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 tres. Tres tristes tigre, tigres. Oh, I don't know. Maybe okay. for the R. Yeah, maybe for because in English the R is soft, right? In English it's like uh, rose. We don't say rose. In English it's very very easy. So, do you like tongue twisters? Yes. Yeah. All right. Are are, <laughs> are, ooh, are tongue twisters difficult for you or easy? Difficult. 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 Okay, yes. very good. Yeah, some of them are difficult, but today I'm going to show you some, some tongue twisters that are very easy. All right. I'm going to tell you, tongue twisters are very good for two reasons. Number one, you practice speed. Okay. And number two, you practice pronunciation with tongue twisters. So in my case, when I was learning English, it was very good for me to practice with tongue twisters because they were very good, right? For, for practicing speed and for practicing pronunciation. So one of the tongue twisters I had to learn was, was this. 
And the name of this one is, oh, sorry. And the name of this tongue twister is Peter Piper. All right. So it's Peter Piper. In 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 English, sometimes some some tongue twisters don't have like like um, a kind of logic, but they play with the pronunciation. That's why tongue twisters are very good. Okay, so in here we say, I will say it slowly. I will say it slowly so you can listen to the pronunciation. It says Peter Piper picked. We don't say picked, right? We say, yeah, that is another thing that I was gonna say. If you pronounce tongue twisters correctly, all the whole tongue twister is gonna be good. But if you don't pronounce tongue twisters correctly, you will always do this like, all right, you will always hesitate. So you say, Peter Piper picked a peck of, you don't say off because if you say off, it's like if it is double F and here we have only one. So it is of, okay? So we say Peter Como Piper v. picked, mm -hmm. like a V, of. yeah, like a, like a V, of. We never, we never, never, never say of. We're gonna say of, because if you say of, it's like the phrasal verb torn off, mm -hmm. yeah. So we say Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled, we make the sound, we don't say pickled, we say pickled. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick? Pick? No. Because if you say pick, you're gonna say this. We have to make the difference for that reason. This one is, sorry. You pronounce what this one, pick. But if you say peak, you are saying this. All right? Can you can you see visually the difference in words? Yeah, because if you say peak, you are saying the second. So that's why it's pick. Eh, pick. All right? So we say, let's see, let's continue. Uh, uy. So we say, did Peter, did Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? All right, very good. <laughs> it's kind of like that. So fast, it will be, I will, I will make, I will make my, my best, all right? Because sometimes it's difficult. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a pickled pickled peppers? Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Oh. <laughs> so those are tongue twisters, right? Tongue twisters are very, <laughs> look at Linda. <laughs> yeah, obviously we're not gonna practice this. We're gonna practice other, 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 um, other tongue twisters that are these. These are short tongue twisters, right? But this one is very good uh, in case you want to practice like more. So if you want to take a picture, you can take it or I can send the, the, the picture to you. All right, very good. So uh, some, when you have a long tongue twister, the good thing about long tongue twisters is that you can, you can learn uh, phrase by phrase. For example, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a, pickled peck of, a peck of pickled peppers, all right? And then you continue with the next one and the next one and the next one, and then you join the whole uh, tongue twister. Easy or difficult? Difficult. Uh, difficult. <laughs> so, difficult. For the pronunciation. <laughs> yes, the pronunciation, but with pronunciation, we, we practice, right? We practice. We practice uh, pronunciation and, and all that stuff. Okay, very good. But you will practice easy tongue twisters and they are here. Okay, so I'm gonna pronounce them for you. And after that, you will go to a small groups and you will practice. La vocecita que escuché era de Jose Nelson, right? Yes. Okay, very good. It's because I only see four people because I have I don't have the 
the gallery um, view. I only have uh, four people I can see, but I know the voices, I know the voices. Okay, so the first one will be like this. This one is very easy. Red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> All right, listen. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> Okay, lorry is a truck. Lorry is camion in British English. In American English, it's truck. So you say red lorry, yellow lorry, yellow. You don't say yellow, you say yellow. Okay? Yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. English. Uh... Britannic, no. Uh huh. In British English. Yeah, lorry. Mm -hmm. British English. Okay. This one is ice cream. Listen, ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. All right. So it's ice cream. You scream. You all scream for ice cream. Ice cream. We don't say I scream. No. I, you, you join the sound. You you join the sound. It's here. Ice cream. You don't say I S cream. No. Ice cream. You join the sounds. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. This one is ice cream. Yeah, the, this one is, is separated. Okay. The next one is. Listen. Listen to this one. Fresh fried fish. Fish. Fresh fried fish, fried fish, fresh fish, fried fresh. Okay, fresh fried fish, fish, fresh fried, fried fish, fresh fish, fried fresh. <laughs> is difficult? No. Okay, and the last one is she sells seashells by the seashore. 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 All right. She sells seashells by the seashore. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let lorry, yellow lorry. Fresh fried fish, fish. Fresh fried fried fish. Fresh fish fried fresh. All right. All right. So we're gonna practice tongue twisters. They are very funny and they are very, very, very crazy. All right. But they are very good for the two reasons I told you. One for practicing speed, que se nos destrabe la lengua. That's why they are tongue twisters. And number two for pronunciation. Yeah. We don't say yellow. No. Yellow. You. No. No. You. No. It's you. Yellow. Fried. Fried, all right? Yeah. Okay, so if you want, take a, take a picture. Take a picture from the tongue twisters because we're going to practice a little yes. bit with these tongue twisters. Yeah, they are very funny. And when you become experts, cuando ya, when you become experts, I'm sorry, when you become experts, you will practice. When you become experts, experts, you will practice this tongue twister, right? <laughs> the Peter Piper picked, all right, very good. Do you have the picture? Yes. Yay, very good. All right, yes. so let me see. I have Abigail, Erika, Juliana, Ivy, Jose Nelson, Reina, Abel, Edenilson, Edgar, Herman, Linda, and Francisco, okay, very good. Okay, so uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you to the rooms so you can practice your tongue twisters. And after that, I will have victims or volunteers to model the the tongue twisters. Oh, he'll see Gifredo is in the house. All right, very good. So we we're gonna work in pairs. And he is with a new look. Hi, Norberto. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. You are with a new look, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I can tell. And Grecia, uh, welcome too. Okay, so let's go to the small rooms and we're, please share the, the, the screen. I will have a group of three. I will have a group of three and the group of three will be 
a Abel Edenilson, Grecia Ivón, and Raquel Abigail. All right, you will be the, the trio. Okay, now let's see. We're gonna practice the tongue twisters. <laughs> and let's go, bye-bye, bye-bye to the first practice from the class. All right, let's go. Hello. Le escucho cortada, linda. Hola. Linda, are you there? Sí. I think Linda, are you there? Conexión de internet está. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yes, okay. teacher. All right, okay, okay, practice, practice. Okay. Okay, tongue twister. Tongue twister. Ah, but that, but that one is, that one is difficult. Uh, the other, the other, Jose Nelson, the other, the other picture. Okay. Yeah. Because this one is, is, is very, very difficult. Share the other picture. Yes. It, it. That one, yeah. Okay. Okay. The toy twister. Red lock. Red lorry, yellow lorry, así. Ajá, el lorry. Lorry. Ah, lorry. Red lorry, Lo yellow lorry. Yellow lorry. Ajá. Red lorry, yellow. yellow lorry. Sorry, me sacó. Ah, no, 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 no problem. So you say red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Yeah, red lorry. It's green. Is screams, just screams. We are the screen. For is screams. Ah, it's okay. Cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. You scream. You scream. We all scream. We all scream. We all scream. For ice cream. For ice cream. Okay, now okay. say repeat, yes. but fast, fast. The Okay. Fresh, fresh, free fish, fish, fresh, free, free fish, fresh, free, free, fresh. Okay, fried. Fry. Ah, fresh fried. Fresh fried. Fish, fish. Fish, fish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, continue, continue with Linda, all right? Thank Very you, good. okay. Yes. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Fresh fry, fish, fish, fresh fry, fry fish, fresh fish, fry fresh. Excellent. <laughs> es complicado, teacher. Fresh fry fish, fish, fresh fry, fry fish, fresh fish, fresh fresh. Okay. She she sells seashells by the seashore. Seashores. Seashore. Mm -hmm. She sells sales ship be by the sir sure. She sells no sé si 
<laughs> okay, repeat, repeat. Uh, she shall search seashore by the search seashore. Yeah, she sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> okay, uh, was it easy or difficult? Funny. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> funny. Yes, I know. I know. Tongue twisters are, are, are very funny because sometimes when we want to pronounce one thing, we say another thing, right? So it's kind of, of crazy. All right. Now I will need some volunteers or, or victims. Francisco, do you want to help me with one? Choose. Oh. Choose the one you want. Okay. Um, so, uh, red lorry, yellow lorry. Ah, that, that was very, very short. Okay, very good, excellent. Let, red lorry, yellow lorry, okay. Uh, let me see, another volunteer will be Norberto, all right? Pronounce the one from ice cream. Um, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yay, very good. All right, let me see the next victim. The next victim. <laughs> let me, don't go bananas. Don't go bananas. Let me see. The person who's <laughs> going bananas. A Grecia solo le miro las cejitas, right? I, I see only her eyes and, and <laughs> she's hiding. <laughs> okay, Grecia, please help me with the one with fish. Okay. <clears throat> Fray, frit, fish, fish, fray, frit, fray, fish, fray, fish, frit, fray, fray. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fried. Fried. Yes, I will, I will, I will help you. Right? I will help you. Uh, this word, you pronounce it fried. And at the end, you make, you make this sound. Fried. Right. Very good. Yeah, fried. Okay, go ahead. Repeat, repeat. Phrase, fried, phrase, fried, fish, fish, phrase, fried, fried, fish, phrase, fish, fried, fresh. Yay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Let me see. One more. Another victim. La, 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 la. Let me see. Uh -huh. <laughs> And Herman is very serious. <laughs> okay, Herman, help me <laughs> uh, with the with the shells, please. Okay. Uh, she sell cheese shell by the shell, seashores. <laughs> okay, okay. Repeat again. Repeat, but fast, fast. She sell cheese shell by the the seashore. Yeah, yeah, very good. Nice. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, uh, the homework, you can choose, you can choose one and you can repeat it and repeat it. For example, when I was learning English, for me, this one was the one. She sells seashells by the seashore. And I was, she says, she sells by the seashore. She sells seashores by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashores by the seashore. And blah, 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 blah. So that is very good. It helps you a lot. All right. And if you want to practice the one from Peter Piper, here you got it. Okay. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper, a pepper, pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked with the, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So you can practice. Okay. Very good. Nice. Now we're going to continue. Okay. And here I have another activity for you. Nothing, nothing uh, related with tongue twisters. This one is classify these actions in do's and don'ts. Do's are things you have to do and don'ts are things you don't have to do. For example, let me see. Uh, I, I, will, I will give you a, a situation and you're going to help me. You will say do, do or don't. Do it or don't do it. That is the meaning of do's and don'ts. Okay. When you imagine you go out with a person for the first time. 
you go out with Carmelo or with or with uh, Carmela, all right? You go out for the first time. Now, I'm going to tell you some things and you will tell me if you can do it or you don't have to do it. Okay. Wear a lot of perfume. Do, a do or a don't? What do you think? Do. <laughs> Ah, about a lot of perfume, Evie. A lot of perfume. Yes. Don't. What do you think? You you can you have to do it or you don't have to do it? Don't have. Ah, let me see. Who says don't? Linda. Linda, you say don't. 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 And Abby, what do you think? Um, wear, wear a lot of perfume. Pino Silvestre. <laughs> uh, don't. 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 Okay. Kiss the person. Kiss the person. In the first, in the first date. Do or don't? I don't do it. Do. Don't. Do. So ah, depend. do. So depends. Ah, don't. it depends. All right, yes. <laughs> the yes. person I like. You? Ah, okay, yeah, you are right. You are right. Okay? If it is a person you like, you can do it. Okay. Listen to these ladies. Wear, wear sensual clothes. I do. Do or don't? Do. Sometimes do. Sometimes do. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. And uh, now let me see the next one. Smoke. I don't. 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 Get don't. drunk. <laughs> Get drunk. Don't. Don't. Do or don't. 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 The next time, do. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, nice. Now, um here I have some uh, actions don't, but don't. in the office. Don't, don't. Oh, Linda says don't. All right, very good. Now, I have some actions here but in the office. For example, say good morning or good afternoon, gossip about other coworkers, eat at your desk, argue with your coworkers and boss, help others, wear the uniform as required, have personal calls in your office, sell things in the office, Avon or, or Celsa or whatever, play loud music and have respect for others. So what I want you to do is you will go, let, take a picture, first take a picture, please. Take a picture. Got it? You have the picture? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, what you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is you have to classify, okay? You have to classify. The do's or the things you have to do, you will classify them here. So you will write them on your notebooks, okay? You will, you will write them on your notebooks or you will have to say you, you have to do it or you don't have to do it and why? And the don'ts are gonna be here. So the do's are gonna be here, okay? Here, we're, we're gonna write do. Right? That's what we're gonna do, okay? Do's and don'ts. We're gonna classify them, okay. So let me see. I will stop the share. Hey, and I have more people, okay? I have more people here. So I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms, all right? And you're gonna classify the do's and don'ts, all right? So let me see. Um, let's see. We will have a group of three. 
And the group of three is going to be Edgar, Manuel, Bonilla, Franco, Ivit, and Juliana. You will be the group of three. Then the others are in pairs, okay? So I'm going to send you uh, to work on this, all right? And bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. For the second time today. Se parece. Clasifico las opciones en do and don't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Things that you, you can do or you have to do in the office and things you don't have to do in the office. Okay. okay. For example, say good morning or good afternoon. You have to do it or you don't have to do it. Sería do. Exactly. Very good. Yeah, that will be in the in the do's uh, mm -hmm. column. All right. Very good. Okay. Okay. The next one. Pero esos son los ejemplos que están hechos. Entonces. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I had my microphone muted. No, you have to classify this. You don't, you don't need ah. to, to create others. No, you have to classify this. Do and don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Do and, and don't. Mm -hmm. Was it about order? Come. No. At. Es como comer en tu escritorio. En el escritorio, ajá. En my case, sería that. You have to do it. Can you can you eat at your desk? Uh, well, really no, but for uh, because the pandemic, yes. Ah, okay. Because of the pandemic, you can eat at the desk. Yes. Ah, okay. In my case, no. On, only in my house. Okay, continue. Okay. Argue with co workers and boss. Sell sell things in the office. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if in your offices that there are people who, for example, there are people who sell uh, things, right? There are people who sell, for example, a bong, or they mm -hmm. say, "Hey, I have this. Um, it's done. Tangas for you, it's and <laughs> yeah, and I have, and I have these these products for your face or or vender, earrings. Vender, vender cosas en la oficina, dentro exactly. de la oficina. Yeah, that is the meaning. So uh -huh. you 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 can do it, or you don't have to do it. Do you think it's a do or don't? Don't. Hmm? It's don't. It's a don't. Yeah, it is a don't. It is a don't. But sometimes uh. people have necessities, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have to sell your product. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Continue, everybody. I will go to another okay. room. Do or don't. This year. Yes. A person called in your office. Ah, personal calls. Now imagine I am in my office. And then I receive a call. Hi, how are you? Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, don't tell me. And she got married with who? So do you think it's correct? Don't. No. No. Yeah, you don't have to do it, right? Because uh, I mean, and sometimes people do it from the from the company's telephone. Not with the not with their telephones, but with the company telephone. So, so don't, right? Okay. So Reina says don't, and Norberto says don't. Don't. Okay, <laughs> very good. Okay. Oh, Finish. Play play loud music. Oh, we will yeah. go to the rooms. Don't worry, we will go to the rooms. Okay, very good. Did you finish? Just finish. Yes, yes, oh, yes. And says, says no, but we're gonna we're gonna work together. Okay, we're gonna work together. Now, please, I need I need you to tell me first the do's. Tell me the do's. All right. Uh, let me see, Juliana. Can you tell me one uh, thing you have to do, please? Ay, no tengo la imagen. Oh, you don't have the you don't have the picture. Let me oh, see. And I and I can say good morning. I say good morning. All right, very good. Say good morning or or, or afternoon. Excellent, very good. Say good morning or good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, very good. Yes. So that is a do, right? I don't know. I don't know if this happens in, in your office, but um, there are some people that you can say, good morning, good and they never, they never answer back. Yes, something. Yeah, yeah, right, that happens. Yes. You say, good morning, and that's, that's not good, right? But say, good morning, you are the person who is polite. Polite. <laughs> okay. Next. Uh, let me see. Um, Abel, tell me, tell me another, another do. Another thing you have to do. Abel? For do. Yes, for, for, for do. For do is, uh, Um, with the uniform as required. Ah, okay, okay. Wear. Wear the uniform. The uniform. As, mm -hmm. as, as required. 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 Excellent. Wear the uniform as required. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Abel. Uh, let me okay. see. The next one will be for Raquel. Abigail. All right, Abby? Can you give me another one? Help the others. Excellent, very good. Help others, all right? Yeah, this is something very important, all right? You, I think that we don't have to be selfish. Selfish is egoista. We don't have to be selfish. If we can help others, let's help others, all right? Very good. And let me see another. Uh, or no more. for others. Help others, all right? Another? We don't have more. No have more respect positive. for others. Have. Oh, mm -hmm. have respect. Have respect for others. Yes, very good. Uh, sometimes in the offices, in the offices is very common uh, nicknames. Do you know nicknames? Yes. Exactly, exactly. In the job, sometimes it's very common. Hey, you, Chele, or I don't know. There are other nicknames that are offensive. <laughs> so um, we have to be careful with that, all right? We have to respect others. Now, uh, I need you to tell me the ones for uh, don't. 
Okay, tell me the ones for don't. So right now we study the do, and now we're gonna study the don't. All right, very good. Now, Herman, tell me one don't, please. Go see about the other co-worker. Gossip, everybody. Yes. Yes. Co oh, oh, co-workers. Co <laughs> co-workers, yeah. Uh, sometimes there are some people who like gossiping about co-workers. Like, hey, did you see, did you see um, Renata's hair today? Oh my God, very ugly. Yes. And, <laughs> and, and did you listen, and did you listen that Maria is pregnant and she's pregnant from Julio? Oh my Lord. So gossip, right? Gossip is, is not good. In my personal case, I don't like gossip. I, I am anti-gossip, believe me. I really don't like it. Okay, next. Uh, Irene, can you give me another one, please? Irene, are you there? No. Hi, Irene. Can you give me yes, another one? Is number three. Uh-huh. Tell me. If, eh, okay, permítame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Is it at your desk? Oh, eat at your desk. It's a don't, but thank you, Irene. But Grecia was telling me that now, because of the pandemic, some companies permit, all right, uh, co-workers eating at the desk, right? But in normal time, she says, no, teacher, it's not possible. Okay, uh, Erica, can you tell me another one, please? Um, sell things in the office. <laughs> sell things in the office. For example, hey, you know, I have un teca del gasa. Oh my God, that is very, very good, right? Or I sell Omni Life, or 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 I sell Herbalife. Herbalife. <laughs> or I sell. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It is not bad, but the bad thing is that some people sell things in the office at the at the working hours, right? So you can do that in the lunch time or or maybe after the 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 time of work. Okay, okay. Uh, another person. Let me see. Uh, let me see here. Jose Nelson, can you tell me another one, please? Okay. Have personal. Car in your office. Okay, have personal calls in the office. And you no. know, Chepe got married. Yes, and oh my God. And you are talking and talking and talking with the company's phone. <laughs> yeah, so that is, that is not something good, right? Okay, and the last one. I think one is missing. Francisco, can you tell me the one that is missing, please? Okay, give me a second. Mm. Play loud music. Ah, pues nos faltan dos. All right, sorry. So let me see. Play loud music. Loud music. Yes. Loud music. Yes. Now, imagine if you played loud music and you are, well, I was made for loving you, baby. Oh my God. And then you are listening to that music uh, uh, very loudly. So that is not something good, but the, even though music is good, right? Okay, and another one? I think one is missing. Thank you, Francisco. Uh, Grecia, can you tell me the, the one that is missing, please? Yeah, one is missing. Which one? Are, are you with your co-workers co and boss? Ah, very good. Are you with your co-workers? I'm going to write the C. 
emboss. Okay, do you know the meaning of argue? I like discutir. Yes, very good. Uh, for example, when you want to say, oh, teacher, ayer me pelea con mi novio, for example. You never, never, never say, yesterday, teacher, I, I, or for example, yo peleo con mi novio, I fight with my boyfriend. So if you tell me I fight with my boyfriend, I will imagine that you, hmm, come here, huh? yeah, and, and you hit your boyfriend or he hits you. No. Discutir o pelear en palabras is argue. 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 This word, argue. Never, never, never say fight because uh, if you say fight, oh my God, that is not something good, right? So argue. Argue. This word. Mm -hmm. Argue is pelear o discutir con palabras. All right? Argue. Okay. Very good. That is the thing. Now, um, we finish, right? We finish about that. Okay, very good. Now, please take a picture because later we're going to use them. Lo vamos a usar más adelantito, right? So please take a picture. Take a picture. All right, very good. We're going to use it for, for another activity. You have the picture? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I will I will model because in other pictures I am with the Ready. mouth open. Okay. <laughs> it's very funny when I see those pictures. Okay. All right. Now uh, we're gonna go to the let's see, let's see. Okay, it's here. We're gonna go to, to the manual. All right. If you have your manual where it's unit number four. Page number 39, okay. So here we have a little conversation. I'm gonna make it bigger in case you wanna take a picture. All right, I'm gonna make it bigger. Do you remember, do you remember this from week number one? Do you remember this? Yes. Should and yes. shouldn't. Ah, okay. So this is not something that you don't know. You know about this, all right? So, but today we're going to practice more, okay? It's a little feedback. Feedback is como retroalimentación. So here we have should, remember, should. should. Letter L, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, should. I'm going to do it here. Okay, should and shouldn't. Okay, remember, should, letter L, is silent. So you are not, and also O, okay? It's like if you say only should. Should. Yeah, should. O should. is silent and L is silent. Now, the same with, with shouldn't, but this one is like this. Should, O is silent. L is silent, and this sound is like the shouldn't, shouldn't, or if it is not possible for you to say it like that, you can say shouldn't, shouldn't, but no shouldn't, it's like shouldn't. shouldn't. Letter E shouldn't. has to be a little soft, shouldn't, or should, shouldn't, like here, shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. Mm -hmm. shouldn't. So for some people, uh, the sound is very is very difficult. But you say here, shoot. Mm. Can you see? Can you see this moving? Shoot. Mm. Shoot. Mm. Hey, yes. Who said that? Quién está diciendo eso? Victor, I think. Shoot. Or who? Well, someone said it there. Very nice. Repeat. I think it was Abel. Well, was you, Abel? Were you, sorry? Were you the yes. one? Or Victor? No, Victor has his microphone. Say, say it, Abel. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Ah, yeah. So it was you. Ah, very good. All right. Yeah, so you say should and shouldn't. So uh, we're going to practice this conversation quickly. All right, quickly, because today I have a lot of practice for you. So please, we're going to practice this conversation in pairs. 
So let me see. Uh, but, but first, I'm going to model the conversation. Francisco Edogardo, do you want to help me, please? Yes. Okay, Francisco, you're going to be Bruno and I'm going to be Max, okay? We're going to model okay. the conversation. Okay, go ahead. Okay. One, two, three, hey, action. Max. Hey, Max, look, I want to know the policy you have in your company. Uh, I think there is a little mistake here. Because here it says, how are you, Bruno? Mm -hmm. It's not, how are you, how are you, Max? All right, it's, how are you, Bruno? Okay, very good. Ooh, let me see. Sorry, there was a little, a little problem here. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't know what, what I did. Wait. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, how are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you should be late. If you do this, you receive a wearing. Oh, receive. Receive. Okay. Yeah, receive a, a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, yeah, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work to you should do it. Ah, all right, shouldn't. Uh, it should, uh, yeah, yeah, shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, like that. Excellent. Okay. okay. I think so too. Okay, very good. All right. So, do you have questions with vocabulary? Do you have questions with vocabulary, everybody? No. Do you know the meaning of warning? Cuidado. Eh, no. Um, Esto es como una advertencia. Precaución. Oh. Advertencia, like, for example, in the call centers, it's very common to see this. One warning, two warnings. Three warnings, you are fired. You get off the hook. All right, very good. Okay, so uh, please take a, a picture if you have the picture. The picture? Yes. All right, very, very good. Okay, so remember the practice of the conversations is for you to get uh, the pronunciation done. Okay, so let me see. Uh, let me see how many people we are. Okay, we're gonna practice a little bit. Mm -hmm. Second, I need to, to make a movement here. All right. Okay, bye-bye everybody. All right, we're gonna practice pronunciation, go ahead. The best we can, the best we can do. to know what police you have in your company? How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many police 
policies in my oh, company policies. for policies. Yes, policies. Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see another police police we have at my work is the use of drugs nobody should do drugs we also have the that police in my work too you shouldn't do it i think so too excellent very good now the other way around policies 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 mm -hmm. and poly uh, the other Word policy, 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 mm -hmm. policy policies. Policy so, is singular and policies is plural. Okay, policies. Yeah, those policies. are like like the the rules of the company. Mm -hmm. Is superiors. Okay. Superiors. Okay. Superiors. 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 If you say two. Están pronunciando ah. en español la U. Ajá. Ah, so okay. Superior. Su, Su, superior. 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 Excelente. Okay. 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 Continue. Hey, Mac. Very much. Okay. Hey, Mac. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should, shouldn't wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And shouldn't you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another police we have at my work in the use of drugs. Well, in my company, you should, should shouldn't be ladder. Shouldn't. You rather eat late. You don't you delay. Don't this you receive a warning. And should you need and should you notify your superiors if you done something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another police we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We are also that policy in my work to tune down. I think so too. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I I touched something I didn't have to. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the attendance, everybody before something happens. Uh, Ruth Patricia Zuniga. Patricia Zuniga. Yes. I don't know what happens to her. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. I am present. Okay. Saida Yanet Perez Rodriguez. Not here. Ivita Alexandra Rivera. Present. Yes. Uh, uh, Victor Palacios Reyes. Present. Yeah, here. Um, Claudia Lorena Funes Jovel, no here. Grecia Ivonne Mejia Ayala. Present, Ooh. present. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Ortiz. Sorry, Spice. Oh, Sandy was online. She was, she was online, but I don't know what happened. But she was online, she was present. Okay, let me ask about that because I don't know what happened to her, but she was present. Uh, Herman uh, Agustín Ramón Pellera. Present. I don't. And all right. <laughs> Jessica del Carmen Mergiva Ramírez has never been there. And? Araceli Ramos Rosales. 
Okay, Juliana is here, but she told me that she was going to sleep her her children. Okay, uh, but she is is she has been present. Gil Sigifredo Norumberto Seronvalle. Present. Only saying Gil Sigifredo is a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah, because it is it is a long <laughs> mea Gil Sigifredo. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Manuel Bonilla Franco. Present. Present. Okay. Um, Jose Nelson Gustavo Pineda. Present. Miguel Cigarán Murcia. Present. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Present. Linda Xiomara Tábora Portillo. Present. Erika Elizabeth Salmerón. Present. Reina de la Paz Villatoro. Present. En Francisco Edgardo Pérez Guzmán. Okay. Very good, everybody. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to continue and we're going to watch a, a video. But the video, this video is very interesting, you know. I was I was watching this video and it is very interesting. Okay. Now, you will look at two, at two people. Okay. Uh, they are two ladies and they are talking about uh, their labor policies or working policies in their offices. They are German. The ladies are from Germany. And they are explaining why German labor policies are better than America's. All right? Because in, in, in America, we have pol policies are like rules, the rules in a company, OK? For example, no smoking, no drugs, no alcohol, no affairs. Affairs are como relaciones románticas, right? No affairs in the office, etc. right? So we're going to listen to these two girls talking. I'm going to activate the subtitles, OK? And I'm going to play it big. Okay, so let's see the volume. All right. Okay, so please, if you if you see a word that is new for you, write it, write it down, and we're gonna discuss about it later. Okay. Doing well is arguably because they really worked. Germany's doing well, and we're not. Well, the reason why they're doing well is arguably because they really worked hard to make changes. And what the U.S. can learn there is that we too could potentially do that. This is At Brookings, a weekly in-depth look at issues behind the news. This week, the German labor market miracle and lessons for the U.S. economy. Millions of American workers have lost jobs in the Great Recession, and many are still struggling to find work. And the same holds true for other industrialized nations where unemployment remains high. But workers have fared better in Germany due to its labor market miracle, explains fellow Elizabeth Jacobs as she looks at the factors that made the difference. Tell me a little bit about uh, German labor market policy that, that helped them weather both the Great Recession and do better in the recovery than we're doing here in the U.S. German employers were far more likely to reduce their workers' hours and then hire them back full time. Um, when, when the recession was done with and when demand really returned. Whereas in the U.S. we saw employers shed their workers um, and they just haven't really hired them back in the same way. So that was sort of the main difference in why the employment picture is so different in the two countries. And Elizabeth, you write that there are both private and public incentives that make it um, easier for employers to keep people on the job rather than laying them off. On the public side, and a lot of other people have pointed this out, Germany has this part of their unemployment insurance system called short-time compensation. Um, and it is what it sounds like, just to kind of parse it, the idea is compensating workers when their hours are reduced. And so firms can basically continue to pay their workers their normal salaries. There's actually a little bit of a reduced salary. And the unemployment system, in turn, will then compensate those, those firms. And so it incentivizes the firms to hold on to their workers. The system helps pay for their social insurance benefits, so things like health care and their retirement benefits. Um, those don't end up costing the firm in the way they might if they didn't get help from the, the government. And then there's also Germany's flexible working tool time kit. What is it? How does it work? Over the course of the last couple of decades, 
German employers working together with organized labor, which is a very big deal in Germany, and with the state have come up with this system of what I and some others have called this flexible working time toolkit, which is really an idea of incentivizing flexibility around hours in exchange for holding on to workers. And we don't do that in the same way in the U.S. Um, for a variety of reasons. We tend to shed workers as opposed to holding on to them. Um, and that's really made the difference um, between the two between the two countries is the way that both public and private incentives in Germany have helped employers hold on to their workers as opposed to let them go. Elizabeth, tell me about working time accounts, which is one of the things in this toolkit we're talking about. They're essentially like time banks. That's the way I like to think about it, that this is something that Germany's largely unionized workforce agreed to as a concession for, for some job security. And the idea is will work overtime hours without demanding overtime pay so long as you bank those hours and you obviously you only work out overtime when time is good and demand is high and so you're banking hours and then in turn um, if you need to cut hours back rather than cutting my regular pay I'll get that pay back um, later when time times are bad. Now that's not it's not obvious why that would keep workers or keep employers from letting workers go the reason is sort of in the details of the contract employers have to pay those workers everything that's left in those accounts plus a severance if they were to fire those workers during downtimes. And so it really incentivizes things for the employer to hold on to those workers rather than let them go because it's cheaper. And again, in comparing the U.S. to Germany when it comes to the labor market, Germany tends to take a longer view of what's going on in its labor market and how things could impact it down the road. We don't do that. Their employers are, are much more coordinated, their unions are much more coordinated in terms of really developing this high skills workforce. And so employers have a real incentive to hold on to those employees because they've put real time and money and energy into making sure that those employees can deliver exactly what they need. We don't do that in the U.S. I mean, we really don't. We have a handful of you know, model employers who do do that. But for the most part, workforce development is the purview of the states, the counties, community colleges, it's kind of all over the place. So there's no real incentive to hold on to your workers because you can always hopefully find another one. Now I argue that that's actually a really, it's, it's short term thinking and in the long run we're paying for it um, because we're, it, firms have to pay for recruitment and retraining and all kinds of kind of hidden costs of, of using layoffs instead of reductions. But that long view in Germany is arguably what's helping their labor market perform better and I think it's also part of the key to their success. And all of this, Elizabeth, is pretty much an about face for a country that was once known as the sick man of Europe. It was actually The Economist magazine who first called Germany the sick man of Europe, and that was because they had this economy that was going nowhere. They had high and growing unemployment, and it was really kind of a mess. Part of that was just 1980s, 1980s economic change, and Germany really struggling to figure out how to make sense of that. And then they kind of had this double whammy when German unification happened, and they inherited essentially this whole other economy that had been in East Germany was now part of West Germany and they had to put the two together and that really sent the labor market into something of a tailspin. And over the course of the last couple of decades, the unions and employers and the German state have really kind of worked together to try and adapt to figure out a way to pick their economy up and make it work. Stay up to date with the latest research, learn about Brookings events, and search our directory of experts, all from your mobile device. To download Brookings, Oh my God, this lady speaks fast. Yes or no? <laughs> yes, very fast. Yes, very fast. Oh very my fast. God, it, there, there, was, there was a moment in which I felt like, oh my God, she speaks like, so, but, but the topic, I don't know, I don't know if you could understand a little bit, but the topic is very, very, very interesting. All right. It is very, in I was watching the video and I was like, because I am not an economist or or a business administrator or, or a public accountant, but the topic is very nice and it talks about um, what other countries do when there are, uh, or when there is unemployment. Do you know the meaning of unemployment? Desempleo. Exactly, desempleo, desempleo. Mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. So she was, she was talking about, about that, right? And she mentioned this, this, in this, in this part she mentioned something very interesting and she says that uh, when recession hit germany german employers were far more likely to reduce their worker hours they didn't fire people they didn't say okay bye bye go to your house they didn't fire people they reduced the working hours and for that reason they reduced the salary 
And when the economy was better, they increased again the, the working hours to their employees. That was something very intelligent, I mean. But, it, but in other countries, in America, what happens? Fire. For example, right now that we have been in the pandemic, what has happened? Can you tell me what happened with a lot of companies? Suspended contract. Yes, they suspended, suspended, suspended contracts because according to the Ministry of Labor, it's not a, a suspension, it is a, a fire, all right? So they fired a lot of people, suspended a lot of people. I mean, they, they could have searched for strategies, yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, oh, we're going to reduce the working hours or, you know, we're going to reduce the salary because we, we are not in the same situation, all right? But it was very easy to fire, fire people. Now, what happened? The country today, El Salvador was opened again. A lot of restaurants opened, a lot of business businesses opened all right and what will happen with these people they will need people again yes or no yes when the economy is growing they will need these people again so this this girl mentioned this important thing i don't know if you if you wrote some vocabulary or some words that you didn't know okay yeah. we're not gonna watch again because of the time all right because the time time is is short but it, it, it was a very interesting video. I, I mean, do, I don't know if, if, well, there are some people here who work with uh, and Okay, uh, tell me the words. Arguably. Arguably. Oh, ar arguably. Arguably. Uh, uh -huh. Como discutible. That would be that the word, all right? I will write it. I remember the word. Arguably. Argue. Let me see. Can you spell it for me? I don't remember the, 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 the spelling. Let me A B L Y. Ar uh -huh. Arguably. Very good. Yeah. Like that, right? Yes. Okay, another yes. word? Another word that you that you learned? Tailspin. Sorry? Tile spin, I will say. Like this? Yes. Okay, very good. Tail spin. It is caída en barrena. That's the mean tail spin. Let me check. Let me check another meaning. Uh, dificultades? Mm -hmm. Problems. Yeah, because listen to this example. Uh, quickly go into a tailspin on the stock exchange. Sufrir en la eh, dificultades en la bolsa de valores. Mm -hmm. So it is problems. Mm -hmm. A tailspin, a problem. So we're gonna have a problem or difficulty. Mm -hmm. Or difficulty. Yeah, the, this is more technical vocabulary. Difficulty. All right, another, another word. Developing. Oh, de developing. Like, like developing. Uh, yeah, developing. That's that's the way, right? Eh, Carmen Irene, eh, la escribí bien. Did I write it correctly? Did I yes. type it correctly? All right, very good. So the meaning of developing is eh, en desarrollo, desarrollo. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Another another word that can that can be similar is development. Okay, very good. Okay. Development. Okay, another. Poor view. Sorry. Poor view. Poor view. Algo así. Can can you can you spell it? P U R B I E. W, the, no. Like uh, that? No. It's uh, uh, B and... Okay, so it's P... U... U... R... R... Uh, B, pero no... D. 
No. Or B. 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 <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. Huh. I E uh -huh. W mm -hmm. yeah. Solamente. Ah, oh, that is a new word for me. Okay, the meaning of this word is ambito. Uh -huh. Ambito. Camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means like 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 um like like in in the context of something. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about this one. This is new for me. I'm learning too. Uh huh. Purview. Okay. Purview. Another. Okay. Herman, you don't have a word. I do, teacher. Ah, yes, Francisco. Hired. H I R E D. Ah, all right. This one is the opposite of, of hired is when a company um, gets you as part of their team. Yeah, for example, uh, when you began working in the place you are working, you were hired. Contratado, all right? Yeah, that is the meaning, hired. A person who is hired, a person who is uh, new in the company. Okay, no more. No more? Okay, very good. So we're gonna, we're gonna stop here with this, this vocabulary, all right? Because we have to continue with other things that we have to do, okay? Now, the next one, this will be like, <clears throat> okay, now here we have, <laughs> here we have three people with problems. Actually, they are problems. What's the first problem, everybody? What's the first problem? Thinking. Alcohol. The first no, problem is quiet. alcohol. Very good. Drinking. All right. Okay. Drinking alcohol. Now, what can be the, what can be the second problem? Oh. First problem is uh, drinking alcohol. What's the second problem, guys? Obesity. Excellent. Very good. The second problem is obesity. Very good. I was just checking. Uh, Obesity. Yeah, this is another problem. Obesity. Another problem? And this one? Smoking. 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 Very good. But smoking can be different things. For example, smoking normal cigarettes or smoking no. weed. <laughs> yeah? No, the meaning of weed. 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 Woo! Yeah. I am I like unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you say, oh, I see unicorns and I see sirens and angels and um, yeah, that's you, you smoke with. Now, listen what we're going to do. What we're going to do is I want you to, I want you to write recommendations for these people. And we're going to use should and we're gonna use shouldn't, all right? Yeah, so I want you to write recommendations. For example, one recommendation for the drinking men can be, you should, the recommendations can be affirmative or negative. For example, you shouldn't a lot. You okay, that, that is like the normal recommendation. You shouldn't drink a lot, all right, very good. For the person who is chubby, you should eat less pupusas, all right? <laughs> you should eat less pupusas because this man eats 10 pupusas. Can you imagine? Algún caballero en este grupo? Is there a gentleman in this group who eats 10 pupusas? Let me see the faces. The Nelson looks. 
Like he, no, you don't eat temple pusses. No. Three. <laughs> Only three. <laughs> yes. Oh my, and Abel, how many three. do you eat? Only four. Only four. <laughs> and Edgardo? I live in Planet de <clears throat> Sorry? I live in Planet de Rendero. Oh, you live in Planes de Renderos, eh? That's good. Yeah, okay. So this can be another recommendation for this boy. And a recommendation for the smoky man can be, you should, and you give the recommendation, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to write, uh, let me see how much time we have. Yeah, we have time. I want you to write two recommendations per, per picture. One affirmative and one negative, all right? So in total, there will be six sentences. Very, very easy. It's not difficult. So uh, are you going to take a picture or, or no? Are you, have you, have you finished? Uh, sorry, do you have the picture? Yes. yes. Very good. So we will go to the rooms, okay? So I will give you this time. I think with this time it's, it's enough. Okay. Hi, everybody. Go and write the sentences for me, please. Go. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Linda have a problem with the internet. Oh, she's having a problem. She, she's live. <laughs> oh, she's, she's, she's back. She's, ba uh, Yay, she's back. Yeah, she's back. Yeah. Ah, you should see. Psychological help. <laughs> ¿Cómo se, eh, psicolo, oh, you should you should look for psychological help. Ah, okay. Yeah. You should. You should. Look or maybe for... you should. Maybe more you should. Uh, visit Alcoholic Anonymous. Oh, you should you should visit uh, um, Anonymous. I don't know how you say that in English. Let me check. Alcoholic Anonymous. But let me check. And the first should what is? Sorry, Erika. Ah, in the, la primera the, cual fue? Drinking alcohol. You should look uh, psychology. Uh -huh, you health. should look for psychological help. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. For Alcoholicos yeah. Anonymous. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the negative is you shouldn't. I, I don't I don't think this is the one. So it you is children drink a lot. 
Or... Oh, it is Alcoholics Anonymous. AA. -A. Alcoholic Anonymous. Ah, so mm -hmm. Alcoholics A -A. Anonymous. Meeting, okay. yeah. Alcoholics Anonymous. It's the same almost. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And when you drunk, you shouldn't. Uh, for example, number two, uh, you shouldn't eat. Mm -hmm. Proposal. For cholesterol. Uh, what do you say cholesterol in English? Cholesterol. Cholesterol. Uh, repeat, please. Cholesterol. Cholesterol. Uh, yes. But you but you write it cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> but you pronounce it cholesterol. So yes, your cholesterol. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't say it. Cholesterol. It's cholesterol. Ka, cholesterol. Like cholesterol, uh, yeah. mechanical. You say mechanic. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, cholesterol. Yes. Cholesterol. Uh, for example, teacher, for obesity, you should do exercise. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for number three, uh, for smoke. You should do exercise. Uh -huh. For the obesity, you should do exercise. Mm -hmm. exercise. You, could, you should then eat pupusa for cholesterol. <laughs> for number three, for smoke. Uh, mm, for example, you choose smoke. Uh, you dare. For example, you oh, you then You can then what? Uh, you choose a smoke. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You, you, eh, inner or no? You inner. Si tu fumas tu tu te enfermas de de por ejemplo cáncer. Is you should you should smoke? Your inner for cancer or your inner in. What do you say? Tú te enfermas de cáncer si tú fumas. But, uh, do you sure smoke? You sorry, eat sorry, for cancer. Was mute. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't smoke. Because if you smoke, uh, you die. Nah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't smoke. Because you smoke, you die. Mm -hmm. You should. Okay. Shouldn't. And another is a. Uh, um, Mal olor, teacher. Or mal olor, e, 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 bad e, smell. What? Bad smell. Ah, okay. You, you should, you should smoke. Bad smell. A smell. Yeah. S M E L L. Yeah. 
Okay, finish. Finish. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Uh, maybe you can you can write one more, one more for 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 the or or one more for the person who is fat for the obesity problem, and one more for the drinking problem. One on one. Okay. Because we have still time. Okay. 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 Uh, Cigarettes. En alcohol. En alcohol. En alcohol y beverage. Or you can say alcoholic drinks. Or alcoholic drinks. Yeah, no problem. Alcoholic drinks. Did you finish everybody? No. No. Not you didn't finish, all right. I'm gonna give you more time, all right? Some... Teacher. Yeah? Cuantas dijo, perdón. Ah, okay, I said uh, two, two, and two. Okay. Six. Six in total, yeah. I will give you like four minutes more. Okay, go ahead. So you can finish. So if you finished, you can add more mm -hmm. you can add more okay yeah Y ahora pone como pone zancudo. Okay. Mosquito. 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 Mm -hmm. Like mosquito, but in a spin with, yeah, Z, mosquito. Ajá. Como zancudo me pone mosquito. Ajá, it is mosquito. Yeah, because mosquito. in the United States, the mosquitoes or mosquitoes are, are American, North American. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Espantar es scare away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Scare away. Scare away. Scare away. Francisco. Okay. Hola. Ay. ¿Cuáles tienes? Ay, yo como quedé solo las hice sencillas. Eh, eh, Francisco eh, está loco. Ok. The first K is... Smoke. Smoke. Ajá. You okay. shouldn't smoke late, you shouldn't smoke. Ok. And the other is the, you shouldn't drink a lot alcohol. You should drink uh -huh. less alcohol. You should, you should you exercise and obesity. Yes. Mm -hmm. You should eat the fast food, shouldn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You shouldn't okay. eat fat food. And the smoke, you should smoke less. And you shouldn't smoke. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. I finish. Teacher, can you hear? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had my microphone mute, muted. So imagine, <laughs> imagine everybody, I have problems for, for sleeping. What recommendations would you give me? What you recommendations? You should. You should eat, eat, drink the chamomile tea. Ah, I, I should drink chamomile tea. But chamomile sometimes, tea. sometimes chamomile tea doesn't make any effect. <laughs> or maybe valerian tea. <laughs> or I should drink a, a, a tequila. <laughs> I, very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't like tequila. Uh, it's so strong. <laughs> very strong. <laughs> okay, very good. Now I would like you to help me, giving me the recommendations for for these people. All right. So give me recommendations for for this guy. Give me recommendations for him. You should eat more healthy. Okay, for, for this one? Yes. Okay, you should eat uh, healthier or more healthy. It's possible to say that. Okay, what else? Or what other, oh, what uh, other pieces of advice for this guy? You shouldn't eat the fast food. Shouldn't eat? The fast food. Fast food, yeah, hamburgers, chorizo, all right, pupusas, and the most delicious things. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what else? Yeah, what else? Another you advice. Eat, you shouldn't eat junk food. Junk food, what else? You should yeah. practice any sport. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's something good because when you practice sports, you are um in movements, all right? And and your body too. What else? You should have exercise. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, what about for the drinking guy? What about for the drinking guy? You should go to uh, Alcoholic Anonymous. Okay, you should go to Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah, very good. Another? You should think about your family. And very good, Herman. You should think about your family. Yes, nice. Another? You should drink less alcohol. You should drink less alcohol. Perfect. Very good. Yeah, because drinking alcohol is not bad. But drinking in excess is bad. All right. Very good. What about for the smoking guy? You should use electronic cigarettes. Okay. You should use electronic cigarettes. Yeah, because there are people that can't control this. So they should like do it in that way. What else? One more, one more. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. We're gonna we're gonna stop here. Now we're gonna watch a video. All right, because time time is short. That's why we're gonna do it like this. So we're gonna watch a video for you to remind a little bit hours and then hire no, thank you. All right. <laughs> we're gonna watch another video. We're gonna watch and we're gonna remember a little bit about should and shouldn't. Well, mostly should, because you know that the negative, you only add NT and shouldn't. Okay, let's watch this guy. Hi, this is Mark. This is English conversation practice. Uy, 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 what happened? Sorry. 
This is Mark. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Mark. This is English Conversation Practice. Giving Advice. You Should. Part 1. You should take a hot bath. You should have some coffee or tea. You should have some water. You should lie down. You should go outside. You should study harder. What's the matter? I'm really cold. You should take a hot bath. That's a good idea. What's the matter? I have a terrible headache. You should lie down. That's a good idea. What's the matter? I'm tired. You should have some coffee or tea. That's a good idea. What's the matter? I'm bored. You should go outside. That's a good idea. What's the matter? I ate a spicy pepper. You should have some water. That's a good idea. What's the matter? I failed my test. You should study harder. That's a good idea. Okay, great job. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye. Okay, uh, do you have any question? No? No questions no. About, about this? Okay, very good. Now, um, should and shouldn't, remember that they are uh, auxiliaries that we use when we talk about, sorry, when we talk about uh, advice or recommendation. And we have that information here on your on your textbooks. Sorry, I don't know why. Okay. Pay attention to this. That uh, pay attention to what I'm gonna tell you right now. You can use this with all the subject pronouns, not necessarily only with you, okay? Because in the practice, we only use you, 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 you. But no, we can also, we can also use, or we can also say, you should, well, that is the most common thing. I should, we should, they should, he should, he should, it should. And the verb, the verb never, never changes. Okay, so you say, I should wear. 
you should wear. We should wear. When I was learning English, that was one technique I did. I used to repeat the same sentence with all the subjects. I should wear, you should wear, he should wear, they should wear, he should wear, he should wear, it should wear. I mean, it's very easy, yeah? And the negative too, I shouldn't wear, he shouldn't wear. You should practice. That can be something personal that you can do, all right? So here we have some, some ideas. For example, my schedule. Do you know the meaning of my schedule? Do you know the meaning of my schedule? Horario. Horario, yeah, mi horario. So you say my schedule, my dress code, attend trainings, sleep in working hours. So what I want you to do in this moment is with, with another classmate, I want, you to, I want you to write or invent four sentences, okay? For example, number one can be, I should respect my schedule, okay, mi horario. I should respect my schedule. Or I should work a lot in my schedule, all right? You're gonna use these ideas for writing some sentences. Is it clear? Very good, everybody. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so please take a picture. Take a picture. This is this is one of the last activities we're gonna do. So take a picture, please. Finish, Finish everybody. Finish. Yay, all right. So we're gonna stop the share and we're gonna go and write the sentences. Okay, very good. I'm gonna... Um, okay, Edgar Kerman, Jose Nelson. Okay. Sorry, let me see. Espera y nomás. Okay. I'm going to give you... Okay. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Go and, and write your sentences, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, as a schedule, uh -huh. ah, sería verdad, sí. Uh, no the, 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 the schedule, the schedule, the, mm -hmm. the schedule, uh -huh. so, yeah. En caso de we organize, organize the schedule. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Poder. Dress code. Let's go. Let's go Creo que es como vestirse, algo así. Mm. Es como, como el código de vestimenta. Código de vestimenta, algo así. Ajá. Ajá, ah, código de vestimenta. Ok. Eh, chi. Chi. Children, no, she chul. The children, oh, para decir she shouldn't. 
Salirse, no sé. He oh. shouldn't go out. Dress code is vestimenta. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, in this case, sería she should. I or we. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. What? Dress code. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You can say we or I or he should respect the dress code. Mm -hmm. Should respect. Should. Uh -huh. Respect. Okay. respect the dress code. Uh -huh. Attend training. Attend training. We should respect my we dress code. Respect. We should respect the dress code. Uh -huh. The dress code. Dress code. Dress code. Okay. Attendant attend trainings. Tra trainings. Um, attend training. Tra Uh, we should attend and training in the office at the office. Attend training in the office. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay. Sleep in war hours. Mm. I should, I should not sleep in war hours. But is never should or, or shouldn't shouldn't because if we sleep in working hours we shouldn't how? sleep in work hours. <laughs> it might yeah. be in the job, right? Sleep. No, <laughs> <laughs> no we should. Yeah. That happened to me once. I was sleeping on my table. <laughs> hours. <laughs> okay, everybody. Now, I will need some volunteers to help me. Okay, with number one. I, I just need a volunteer to, to, to give me an example, and I'm going to type it. Okay, type. go. Volunteer or victim? Volunteer. Hey, Abby. Okay. <laughs> tell me, tell me, Abby. My boss should respect, respect my schedule. Uh -huh. For lunch. Oh, my God. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, Abby. Very good. So my boss should respect my schedule. Okay, I'm going to tell you. This word in, in, in American English is schedule. In American English. In British English is schedule. <laughs> Can you listen to the difference? American English, schedule. British English, schedule. 
it is easy. <laughs> it is easier. Okay, thank you, Abby. Let me see for for number two. A volunteer for number two. We children should respect the dress code. Very good, Erika. We should respect the dress code. Very good. Excellent. We should respect the dress code. We should respect the dress code. Okay, number three. A volunteer for number three. Let me see. Victor, help me please with number three. Okay, for example, he shouldn't mm -hmm. apply the acting training in the company. He shouldn't? He shouldn't apply. Apply. A P P L I. Okay. He apply shouldn't the apply? Ad, apply the acting training in the company. Mm. I, 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 I don't get the idea. Okay, yeah. the Aten. Sorry? The Aten, Aten, Aten. Can you tell me the idea in Spanish, Victor? Maybe I, I can help you ah, too. Él aplica el entrenamiento en la compañía. Ah, he shouldn't. Ah, pues ahí sería, he doesn't apply. Porque shouldn't sería, él no debería aplicar. Y si usted ah. dice, él no aplica, es he doesn't. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Yeah. So maybe we can we can work on this one and we can say he shouldn't maybe he shouldn't maybe we can say he shouldn't attend the trainings. We can say that? Uh-huh. He shouldn't he shouldn't attend trainings drunk. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Victor. Thank you very Thank you. much. All right. Let me see. <laughs> let me see. Gracia, give me the last one, please. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. Sleep in work or. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, we shouldn't sleep in work hours. Okay, excellent. Very good, everybody. Is Remember, please remember, when we use should, after should, we need to use the verb in the base form, okay? You should wear, employee shouldn't smoke. All right, we need the verb in base form form okay well thank you very much everybody for being here some of you had like some problems with internet uh, remember this week esta semana es la última así que traten de no faltar si usted ha tenido algunas faltas pues ya no lo haga esta semana right yeah because that can affect a little bit all right so thank you very much everybody have a nice night ya ahorita voy a ponerles la pregunta en la platform Please participate from the platform because I only see a few comments. Bye bye, everybody. Have a good night. Have a good yeah. night. Bye bye. Bye bye. See bye, -bye. You. bye, -bye. Good night. God bless bye. you all. Bye. bye.